Dear friends, I'm Dr. Alok Saxena, a senior consultant physician and diabetologist, and also the president of the Metabolic Society, which consists of around 100 physicians and endocrinologists. So the, today's topic would be discussing about hypertension. And I hope all of you are going to listen to it. What does it mean to have hypertension? Well, each time when the heart beats, then it pumps blood and this blood enters the vessels against the walls of the blood vessel, it expands and generates a pressure and this is called blood pressure. Now, normally the healthy, in healthy persons, blood pressure rises and falls throughout the day. But when blood pressure remains high for a long period, then it is known as hypertension. Normal blood pressure is 120 by 80 millimeter of mercury and 120 is called systolic blood pressure, whereas 80 is called diastolic blood pressure. Blood pressure more than 140 upon 90 for longer period of time is termed as hypertension. Now, what causes hypertension? And what are the causes? Uh, and uh, who is at risk? Several factors are responsible for developing hypertension and modifiable risk factors and non-modifiable risk factors, both are there. So modifiable risk factors are the ones which we can modify and bring the blood pressure under control by modifying these factors. In the first modifiable risk factor is sedentary lifestyle and not getting enough physical activity or exercise. The second one is excessive alcohol intake regularly, which can be modified and you can limit the alcohol intake or cease taking alcohol. Then eating junk food and fatty food smoking tobacco, obesity and overweight, and constantly one remains under stress. These are all modifiable risk factors. And what are the signs and symptoms of high blood pressure? So the, actually the high blood pressure develops over a period of time. For most of the time, there are various and there are no obvious signs or symptoms. So you may not know that you are at risk and for several diseases from heart problems to eye damage and blindness, which is why it is often called silent killer. So instead, when the symptoms do occur, they include morning headaches, or uh, the changes in behavior, vision changes, buzzing in the ears, fatigue, nausea, or vomiting. If person shows these symptoms, then one should get their blood pressure measured. And there are all the chances that we will find that he has high blood pressure. Now, to sum it further, what are the uh, um, uh, things that we should be doing? And hypertension can also be uh, is, I mean, uh, controlled, prevented, and reduced by taking steps towards such as eating a well-balanced diet that's low in salt, you should limit the alcohol intake. You should manage the stress. You should enjoy regular physical activity. You should maintain a healthy weight. You should quit smoking and take your medications properly. So 
In fact, if the blood pressure is successfully controlled with a healthy lifestyle, then it might avoid delay or reduce the need for medication also. If one does good amount of physical activity and leads a stress-free life, indulges into things like yoga and all, I think that can be achieved. Now, high blood pressure can be controlled in many ways. Keeping blood pressure uh, can, keeping the blood pressure in the normal range is very important in preventing the cardiovascular complications. It is very much possible to maintain normal blood pressure with regular monitoring and preventive care. Now, high blood pressure is uh, the, uh, you can read more. It is available at https www.cdcqov oblique blood pressure at about htm last excess on 19 March. High blood pressure again available at several other sites which I'll be transferring. Symptoms of high blood pressure are again monitored, mentioned like that. And the patient education is also in check. So physical activity for patients is also uh, available in all these, uh, all these presentations and one should and the WHO says that physical activity for patients with hypertension, a non-communicable disease, uh, which is, it has an education manual for primary uh, care professionals and patients since 2017. So friends, this is a small presentation about hypertension. Thank you.